Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with day seven of Scrap Squad's 12 Days of Summer Scrap Lifts. And this is the page today. It's a grid with two 4x4 four four squares and four 2x2 two two squares. Uh, two of them embellishment squares, two photos, one photo, one em large embellishment square. I like the, the mixed media splatters in each corner. I like this little um, corner bit. I'm not going to include this strip, although I probably could. I probably have some washi tape that might work for that. But in any case, I, instead of a blue background, I'm going to use yellow because I've got photos that have really bright rainbow colors, primary colors, and I wanted to have that yellow represented. The yellow is the brightest color. I chose this as the um, square that I'm going to embellish because it has the water and, and it kind of mimics the water that's in this photo. Um, I've got some fun photos of Barrett. Um, let me kind of tear that like that so I can put it there. Anyway, and I've, let's see, I'll show you. In the original, there are these kind of Polaroid frames with some um, pattern paper underneath. And what I've got is these transparency frames. They're chipboard frames from, um, I think it's Discover and Create by Vicki Booten. And I backed them with some red pattern paper, and then I'm going to layer some fussy cuts on top. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to do the corner, the upper corner bit until later down the road. I'm, I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing something like this up there. So let's get the grid built. Um, I know that I want this one um, here. I'm just going to kind of place things around photo wise and that's going to be there and that'll be there. I think this needs to go down and this needs to kind of tighten up. I really think all of it needs to go up a notch. And I'm going to move that back over that way so that this can kind of, okay, I think that's the, that's the grid I want to build. And I'm just going to put these things down, lining up on a, um, on a line of text there. And do this one. I'm trying to have the exact same margin on the right side that that one has on the left side. So I think that's going to work. And then I will place this here lined up, this bottom row will be lined up, or that larger piece will be lined up with the same line of text that this is. 
and then I'm going to move this up a bit to center it. I'll give the same, I'll line it up on the margin here, and I will center it on this frame. Not, none of that is uh, absolutely required, but that's kind of how I'm keeping the orderly-ish look. Um, and this one, the frame is going to be on the outer part. So I'm lining up the top with that. And then I'll place this kind of centered, not quite up to the top, and kind of centered there. OK. Now, on this, I'm going to include the rainbow, which speaks to the rainbow in the, um, the uh, on the floaty toy, and then we'll, we'll do the, um, what I'm doing here is adding another layer of foam here to balance when I layer this on top of that. Oh, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to do that that way so that we have it kind of in this center space, kind of over that center space. But I don't want it. I like that there is some space there. Now, I will show you that the next thing I'm going to use is this um, unicorn. And it's from the papery pack of um, uh, bold and or bright and bold, and it used to look like this, but I used some um, Vicky Booten paint markers in the new mixed media collection that's available at Joann's, and I've colored. You can see the pink areas I've colored in red and I've added some yellow to it and then done some dots there and there with the yellow one just to give it colors that more match the color scheme there. And let me, I think I'm going to have this kind of angle down here and then let it go over. I don't want to cover too much of the rainbow, but I can't move the rainbow any higher, I don't think. Or I don't think I should. I could. We'll see if that works. Okay, <laughs> I kind of like that. Now, up here, I'm going to layer this um, orange hibiscus, which is fussy cut from um, a paper in the Where To Next collection. And I've got another one here. I think I have to do it this way because I want this to be facing up. 
And then my title is going to be this word wow. And I'm going to add this. Let me move it over. I was going to put the hibiscus on the right side there by the the red W, but because of the orientation of the um, and I didn't I didn't think about this ahead of time because of the orientation and the amount of space I have, I think it makes more sense to do it this way and then it kind of is color matched with that that bit and i'm going to add this dark green bramble fox tropical leaf let's see if i managed to get my liquid glue to behave i did okay and in the original, there's uh, there are a couple um, journaling strips there. I've actually pulled some strips from. Well, let's let's before we go any further with that, and with some of the other things, I have this. Um, which is cut from a. Um, 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 paper snips, a bramble fox paper snips, and it's it's just a little jar of lemonade, a, a mug of lemonade, and I thought that kind of added to the summery look. And I have some word strips there, but let's do this. Um, this little piece right here is what I'm kind of replicating here. And I'm, I wanted to get the grid because I wanted this to kind of go at, at this juncture here. I didn't want it all the way over to the end. And I hate that I'm covering up some of those splatters and splotches there, but it is what it is. So let's do that. And I'm going to kind of curl that up a bit just to emphasize that torn edge. I think this, <laughs> this little, uh, little guy is so cute. I'm going to put some tape or what has a lower profile than the tape. And I cut this from a, um, a piece of ephemera in the um, bold and bright. And the, the rest of it is here, and I've saved it. I may um, punch some shapes out of that. In any case, I still have it to use. I'm going to do... I, I cut it out of the center, and it says live colorfully. And I'm going to kind of put it on here kind of over, overlapping right there. And I'm going to add this guy right there. And I have put some little foam squares that should prop it up higher than, and this is from the, uh, one of the sticker sheets in uh, bold and bright, bold plus bright. Here we go. 
Okay, so there's that. I think I will glue this here and line it up with that grid square. And then I have these others, but before I do those, I want to do some stamping. I want to kind of, and I test stamped some of these um, bubbles over here just to make sure this fossilized amber was the right color. And I'm just adding what kind of, I could have added more splatters and that would have kind of added to the, the mixed media look, but I actually kind of like that these bubbles are open and just the idea that they're bubbles and we're uh, at a pool and right here he's in the yard. Um, these came up in James's uh, Facebook memories the other day. I'm just kind of going all over the place here with this. Okay, I think that's good. Now I also have this stamp which is a B and since we call Barrett B, I put B's on nearly all of his pages and so this stamp, which was sent to be my, my good friend, Di, um, thank you, Di, uh, I can do it kind of all around, and I can do it solid or um, partially on the page. And that, again, kind of adds to that mixed media sort of look. And at the end of all of this, I'm going to add some um, yellow Nuvo drops and some of, I'm going to use the yellow paint pen to kind of add some further dots. But let's see where to put these, um, these word strips. I like this that says, no ordinary day, and I'm going to put it at a slight angle, and then I'm going to do this one that says, cool by the pool, and I'm going to put that, whoops, I didn't mean to cover up cool. Let's do it that way. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of layering over on top of the B there, so that is fine. And I have this other one that says, life is meant to be lived. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to move this down a little bit and leave myself room to put this word strip kind of up at the top of this grid space. Okay. And now I'm going to take the paint pen and just kind of do some dots around. All I'm doing is pressing it down onto the paper. And it's leaving a perfect little circle of paint, which will dry with a little bit of a, a, a profile. It's not going to have as much of a profile as the uh, Nuvo Drops will, but let me move this over a bit. 
I'm going to take the Nouveau Drops and kind of, let me do some testing first. I'm going to put them around in the hibiscus. right there in the pistol I guess that's called I think the long thing is the stamen and the kind of seed pod holder at the end is the pistol who knows I'm sure someone will tell me um, let's see and I'm gonna go it's a different color yellow, so over near the paint, I'm going to add one of these. And I don't know that I need to do all of them, but more the more interest there is, the better, I think. So, I think that's done. I love <laughs> this little guy, and I love that he's jumping over a rainbow on top of the water. And I like the red background here. I thought about maybe putting some um, sequins in there but I think we have so much going on elsewhere that we really don't need to do that. So to get some of the sparkle that I might have gotten with sequins, I may use some of these little, there are some little dots on here. This is the sticker book that comes with um, Bold and Bright. And that's where I got um, Life is Meant to be Lived. That's where I got that. And let's see what else we have. But these little dots are um, different colors and they have stars. And they're surrounded by white there's a little like a white border around them and so what i'm going to do is for some of the groups of two um and here's some with hearts um for some of those that have the two gosh uh the two dots the paint and the nouveau I'm going to add a third element, which will be this little paper dot, dot sticker. I'm trying to be careful there not to touch the, um, ah, and that's exactly what I did, is touched the wet paint. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Here's another spot, um, another heart here, and this is kind of reinforcing the little circles that are in the bubbles, and and let's see, I've got a Part there. I just about got all of those. There's um, a double set right here. So let me do my little orange heart here. And I will put it right there. Okay. And I believe I'm going to call this done. I probably will go look up the date. Um, I think it was 2015, uh, but I'm not absolutely sure. And 
I will write probably write something right in right in here and I may not do that before I take the the photo of it so thank you for watching uh, happy scrap squad Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow for day eight bye let me see if I can do this without touching Nouveau Drop.